come to our attention that there is some confusion regarding the actual purpose of this Buzzquote channel. We do seem to range quite widely between such disparate subjects as auto insurance, sexual identity, and general critiques of the intellectual capacity of commenters on our channels. Therefore, with some help from the postmodernism generator, we're here going to try to clear up a few misconceptions. The title of this essay is The Absurdity of Discourse, Cultural Pretextual Theory and Buzzquote. Part 1. Expressions of Failure If one examines cultural pretextual theory, one is faced with a choice. Either reject structural desituationism or conclude that expression is created by the masses. Von Huhn suggests that we have to choose between constructivism, auto-insurance, neo-textual theory, stupid slideshows, and buzzquote. Sartre said, buzzquote, society is part of the Rubicon of language, unbuzzquote. However, According to what most morons are doing on the internet, it is not so much society that is part of the Rubicon of language, but rather the paradigm and eventually the collapse of society and auto insurance. In a sense, Buzzquote uses the term Buzzquote pretextual capitalist theory on Buzzquote to denote a self-sufficient paradox. The primary theme of this model of constructivism is the bridge between sexual identity, consciousness, Buzzquote, morons and red states voting against their own economic interest, auto insurance, and very small paper boxes containing industrial waste. DeBoard said, Buzzquote, society is intrinsically elitist on Buzzquote. Therefore, subcultural theory holds that consensus is a product of communication, but only if auto insurance and language are interchangeable with other stupid YouTube channels and consciousness. Otherwise, Buzzquote assumes that class has objective value except in cases where some random 12-year-old comments on our channel and says that it is gay. Any number of desublinations concerning the role of Buzzquote as, as observer do, can, and may exist, including auto insurance. Now, let's keep in mind what Marx said, Buzzquote, language is meaningless, unbuzzquote. However, it is not so much language that is meaningless, but rather the genre of language. If you added up all the stupid things that people watch on YouTube, if you put them in a huge pile, they would reach back and forth to the sun 77,000 times. It could be said that if pretextual capitalist theory holds, if I am able to wrest you from your capitalism-induced stupor for even 10 seconds, buzz quote, auto insurance, then we have to choose between post-textual nihilism and post-conceptualist theory. Please excuse me while I pause here to view some porn. Okay, I'm back. Several situationisms concerning constructivism may be found, including buzz quote. Derrida famously said that buzz quote, sexual identity is fundamentally impossible on Buzzquote, except in cases of auto insurance. However, in Buzzquote, we do reiterate capitalist theory, we deny subtextual Marxism. The subject is contextualized into a constructivism that includes consciousness as a totality, auto insurance. DeBoard said, Buzzquote, truth is dead, on Buzzquote. However, according to some moron who just commented on that twerking video, it is not so much truth that is dead, but rather the futility and therefore the genre of truth. However, Lacan uses the term buzz quote, the cultural paradigm of context on buzz quote, to denote the common ground between society, identity, auto insurance, and buzz quote. Similarly, buzz quote suggests the use of pretextual capitalist theory to attack class divisions is of limited use. It could be said that Derrida uses the term buzz quote, post dialectic socialism on buzz quote, to denote the stasis and eventually the fatal flaw of capitalist sexuality. The the premise of pretextual capitalist theory says, states that buzz quote is part of the meaninglessness of culture, of auto insurance, of just enormous heaps of useless YouTube content created by what are essentially monkeys at typewriters, but not as smart. Thus, Lacan promotes the use of constructivism to read and analyze class. An abundance of deconstructions concerning the role of the participant as reader exist, buzz quote. It could be said that the neo-deconstructive paradigm of consensus, as well as auto insurance implies that sexuality is capable of significant form. Nobody notices stuff that you put below the fold on a website. Please review the YouTube Creator's Handbook for more details about how you can waste years of your life creating content that nobody will 
ever watch. Buzzquote states that the works of Alexander Pearls are atavistic. But if constructivism holds, we have to choose between Marxist capitalism, semanticist feminism, or just randomly generating content for computers to read and put banner ads on so somebody out there can generate some demand so some algorithm can push you, dear viewer, just a bit closer to your doom. Foucault uses the term post-sexual nihilism to denote not in fact discourse but pre-discourse. However, Buzzquote can be interpolated into a constructivism that includes art as a reality. What you think is great art is actually just your puny response to something called precedent, to neurons that have grown in your brain due to repeated exposures. You like stuff, but you don't know why. Many deappropriationisms concerning post-textual nihilism may be discovered. Buzz quote. But the subject is contextualized into a pretextual capitalist theory that includes culture as a whole. Buzzquote suggests the use of constructivism to deconstruct auto insurance, pointless videos about celebrities, and other such wholesome content that we hereby pour into the trough for your consumption. Buzzquote suggests that we have to choose between constructivism and the Sontagist camp. It could be said that the subject is contextualized into a dialectic pretextual theory that includes narrativity as totality. Like that time I went to the Best Buy store and they were like, hey, did you get that new Android phone because it's like faster and better and bigger and more powerful and better to look at porn and pictures of celebrities on? The paradigm, and some would say the defining characteristic of post-textual nihilism intrinsic to Buzzquote emerges again through this YouTube channel, although in a more mythopoetical sense that can only be approached through the actuarial requirements of a fair and equitable auto insurance policy. Thus, the characteristic theme of the works of Buzzquote is the economy, and eventually the Rubicon of dialectic class. The subject is interpolated into a constructivism that includes truth as a whole. Buzz quote.